dear students welcome back now we are going to see the upward rotators of the scapula the upward rotator scapula are primarily produced by the balance of forces between the trapezius and the serratus anterior these two muscles produce the upward rotation of the scapula through their attachments with that of the clavicle as well as the scapula okay so here how these muscles produce upward rotation and the trapezius is having a three segments we can call it as or three fibers one is the upper fibers that is called as upper trapezius middle trapezius and the lower trapezius because of its insertion and their action is also varies according to their origin and insertions and the, these three fibers will have different action lines whereas this serratus anterior is also having upper fibers and the lower fibers and these two also having different action lines but uh, when compared to upper and lower fibers of serratus anterior the lower fibers of the serratus anterior will have uh, more function on the upward rotation of the scapula okay now we will see in detail about all these um, uh, segments how these are acting uh, and uh, these play an important role in the upward rotation of the scapula in that and also how these segments are balancing with each other to produce the upward rotation okay now the first one is the upper the upper portion of the trapezius muscle is attached to the clavicle so here you can see this the upper trapezius is attached to the clavicle and is positioned to contribute directly to the initial elevation of the scapula so it helps in the elevation of the scap clavicle sorry elevation of the clavicle as well as the sternoclavicular joint as well as the sternoclavicular joint retraction so the upper portion of the trapezius muscles is attached to the clavicle and it is positioned to contribute directly to the initial elevation of the clavicle as well as the sternoclavicular joint retraction that occurs during normal arm elevation so this is the first step in the elevation that is in the scapulohumeral rhythm that is the first step in the scapulohumeral rhythm also so in the first phase in the first step the upper trapezius plays an important role in the elevation of the clavicle okay as well as the joint retraction so this is the main function of the upper trapezius and coming to the serratus anterior now coming to the serratus anterior the serratus anterior muscle makes its contribution to the combined clavicular as well as scapular motion through its actions on the scapula so the serratus anterior muscle has an important contribution to the combined clavicular as well as the scapular motions through its action on the scapula because it is getting attached to the medial border and the anterior aspect that is the costal surface of the clavicle on the medial border 
up to the inferior angle the serratus anterior is getting attached so the action of the uh, serratus anterior causes some movements in the um, scapula okay when the location of the axis for scapular thoracic upward rotation is at the acromioclavicular joint so normally initially this uh, axis is present here and it is shifting to the laterally towards the acromioclavicular joint now it is present at the acromioclavicular joint the lower trapezius may contribute the up upward rotation and also the serratus anterior is also the lower part of the serratus anterior muscle has much greater momentum and these two muscles will have uh, maximum function uh, in the upward rotation of the scapula when this axis of rotation shifts to the acromioclavicular joint okay and also there are substantial implications for the large shift in the axis of rotation for scapular upward rotation with regard to muscle function as the axis of rotation shifts laterally towards the acromioclavicular joint the middle trapezius has progressively smaller momentum for scapular thoracic upward rotation so when it reaches when it reaches or shifts to this part so we i have mentioned that the lower trapezius and serratus anterior will take part as a major role in the upward rotation of the scapula when the axis is uh, shifts towards the acromioclavicular joint but at the same uh, axis what is the action of this middle trapezius so the middle trapezius will have lesser momentum the middle trapezius will have lesser momentum but these two will have greater momentums so these two muscles will have greater momentum so it helps in the upward rotation but this middle trapezius will have minimal uh, less momentum so it produces um, smaller uh, scapular thoracic upward rotation in the later stages of elevation motions it may be a downward um, a rotator of scapula so that means after it reaches the maximum rotation so the when the scapula reaches to its maximum rotation that means 60 degrees once it reaches then this middle trapezius acts as a downward rotator middle trapezius acts as downward rotator and helps in this um, and helps the scapula to coming to its um, resting place okay so this is about the middle trapezius okay the serratus anterior muscle maintains a large momentum for scapular thoracic upward rotation throughout the entire range of elevation so the serratus anterior muscle is maintaining large momentum for scapular thoracic upward rotation throughout the entire range of elevation okay and the torque capabilities of the lower trapezius the torque capabilities of the lower trapezius is also change across the range of elevation as the axis of rotation shifts so this lower trapezius uh, is having a different um, torque capabilities different torque capabilities when this axis of rotation 
is shifting but in the case of serratus anterior it is maintaining greater momentum throughout the arm elevation but this lower trapezius will have um, some changes in the torque uh, capabilities to produce upward rotation of the scapula during different ranges of uh, arm elevation okay though it helps in the uh, upward rotation of the scapula but it is having some torque uh, capability changes but in the case of serratus anterior the serratus anterior muscle is maintaining greater torque throughout the range of arm elevation that is the difference between this lower trapezius as well as this serratus anterior during arm elevation okay so despite lines of action and momentums there are uh, not as effective for producing scapulothoracic upward rotation the trapezius is clearly active during arm elevation and also plays a role in the balance of forces that move and control the scapula on the thorax so here the trapezius is not only helping in the arm elevation but it also balancing the forces and stabilizing the scapula uh, on the thorax during arm elevation so for example if the serratus anterior muscle acted in isolation so if only the serratus muscle is acting on uh, isolation so that what is the movement taking place here so the lateral line of action would result in substantial uh, lateral movement that, that is called as lateral translation and less effective upward rotation that means here if the serratus anterior is acting alone so then what is happening it moves laterally instead of rotating upwards so for this action the medial translatory action of the trapezius so the medial translatory action of the trapezius offsets the lateral translatory uh, motion of the serratus anterior results in more effective upward rotation of the serratus so this lateral translation is done by the upper serratus okay and this one is balanced by the medial translatory motion so normally it is done by this uh, medial trapezius so these two forces are going to cancel here and helps in the upward uh, rotation and helps in the upward rotation of the scapula so this is uh, the function of the trapezius that means not only it helps in rotation of the scapula but also this muscle the trapezius muscle is going to balance the other forces to get uh, the complete range of motion of upward rotation of the scapula okay and another important thing is the contribution of scapulo um, thoracic muscles not only uh, con uh, producing this um, upward rotation and they are also producing this anterior and posterior tilting as well as internal and external rotation now we will see the next the middle and lower serratus anterior muscles with their insertion into the inferior angles and the medial border of the scapula play a primary role 
play a primary role in stabilizing the scapula to the thorax so this muscle the serratus muscle anterior muscle is not only helps in the upward rotation but also it helps in the stabilizing the scapula on the thorax okay that too not the entire uh, fibers of the muscle the middle and lower serratus anterior muscles helps in play a primary role in stabilizing the scapula to the thorax okay so as we know that um the function of the serratus anterior muscle is considered to be the produ producing the scapular protraction its line of action is capable of producing acromioclavicular joint external rotation as it pulls the scapula laterally on the thorax laterally on the thorax so this is the action of the serratus anterior for example if sometimes any paralysis of the serratus anterior muscle occurs it presents with scapular winging what happens during uh, scapular winging occurs so this is the thing we can see this is the scapular winging so what it is happening here is the scapular winging includes so this is called the internal rotation of this is called internal rotation of the scapula and anterior tilting of the scapula so this one is the anterior tilting of the scapula produced by the remaining muscles except the um serratus anterior muscle the remaining muscles will produce such kind of uh, function one is the internal rotation and anterior tilting of the scapula produced by the remaining muscles without the stabilizing the external rotators without the stabilizing the external rotators and the posterior tilting which influence the middle and lower serratus normally the middle and lower serratus will stabilize the scapula on the thorax so here it is not stabilizing the middle and lower fibers are affected so this uh, medial border is prominently seen medial border and the inferior angle is prominently seen in the scapular winging okay so this is um, about um, this uh, um, scapular winging and the lower serratus anterior muscle the lower serratus anterior muscle also has a large momentum to produce posterior tilting of the scapula so the middle and lower trapezius also can contribute to external rotation torques of the scapula at the acromioclavicular joint and the upper trapezius to clavicular retraction torque at the sternoclavicular joint okay so simply what we can say in the scapular winging includes the internal rotation and the anterior tilting of the scapula produced by the remaining muscles without the stabilizing the external rotators and uh, external rotation and posterior tilting which influence the middle and lower serratus so and the lower serratus is also capable of uh, producing posterior tilting of the scapula so all these things are affected so this is the condition where the medial border and the inferior angle is prominently seen 
uh, when the person uh, is uh, attempted to do arm elevation so this is about the uh, upward rotators of the scapula in the next session we are going to see the structural dysfunction of the shoulder complex thank you